Here is my RV for rent. It's in excellent shape. Tires look like new. Brakes been serviced. It's 29 feet long, as they call it. A V10 engine. Conservative driving gets it about nine miles to the gallon. Let's go inside. Let's see what the amenities are. There's a step up here, so get right in. It's been winterized, so I kind of have the that should really shut, and it does. A little tape actually keeps it closed, but that's the breaker box. Here is the inside. Nice and cozy with a sink, little card table two people on each side. This folds out into a sleeping area. It's a little short, but uh, probably somebody five foot something will make use of that. This folds out. I'm six feet tall and can spread out on this thing when this, this table here drops down and you lay all the cushions aside and it makes a nice bed. Windows of course open. Here's a <coughs> television connected to speakers on the side. There's a Wii that comes with you. Um, and this little amp is cool. It's uh, all DC powered, so it runs off the battery, so you don't need to run a power inverter at all. When you do plug in, though, the, all the power strips and all the electricity in it work. Everything works, actually. Uh, here is the overhead bedding. This is cool. I won't do it right now because it's all tucked up. But this pulls out and exposes a full, almost a double-sized bed, so a couple can sleep up there. That's often where me and my girlfriend sleep. Um, again, this seat and pivoting around the middle, that's the door we came in from. Fire extinguisher, sinks both work, micro, everything works. I'll show you the oven, it's kind of funny. Make a pizza in there, probably. Um, fridge, aerator, everything is turned off right now, but it gets awfully super cold and freezer. Works perfect. Shower if you're brave. It's kind of like a real crappy mobile home shower. Not mobile home, but uh, I mean to say uh, like just a crappy hotel room shower in the middle of nowhere. Then this is uh, my installation. These are two bunks on top that were didn't exist before. Freestanding. Um, and then there's a place to sleep down here too. There's enough mats and everything too. You could also lay somebody else out here need to sweep so uh, storage above closet doors open up and there's hanging room and whatnots for extra storage um, <coughs> everything here is all memory foam so it's uh, it's really comfy um, you can sleep while the others are driving thermostat here works just like a regular thermostat uh, runs off heat off propane so in the cold climate actually it was snowing outside and super warm in here no problem um, to use the air conditioner you have to plug it into a service uh, a 30 amp brake service that you find at all, most motorhomes here parks here is the bathroom totally full functioning um, everything works it's kind of standard but it all goes to a holding tank that pink or red fluid is uh, antifreeze because I winterized it and the sink works as well. Another vent here in the bathroom. It's actually the warmest room in the place. And there's me. Howdy. And that's basically it. Here's the view from the back. The RV has about 100,000 miles on it, but you know, it's a V10 motor and it's scheduled to last for over 300,000 miles. So. Anyway, that's it. Super roomy. Probably a eight foot ceiling in the middle. And it kind of curves up as you can see. Dream. It's a total dream to tour around in this thing. So I hope you and your band will take it off. Take it out, I mean, and uh, give it a shot. Please email me any questions. Anthony Lee Rogers at gmail.com. Awesome. Thanks a lot.